Welcome back, Pokemon Go fans. Ready for another PvP spotlight, eh? Okay, let's see. Today we're going to run Berserker. It is the Galarian form of Meowth. So, this is him right here. Pure Steel type. We're going to run Shadow Claw and Play Rough. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and back it up with the Alolan Marowak. And I see a lot of people running Obstagoon. I think we're going to go run with Shadow Machamp here. I know I normally run with my uh, my Swampert. My Swampert is a really good uh, Pokemon to have sort of in the, in the back... Uh, the back third slot, you know, just, but there have been a lot of counters against it, so, all right, so, all right, Berserker against Galarian Sunfisk. All right, let's play rough. That is the name of the move. Okay, good, we're eating shields here, we like that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check the tankiness of Berserker here. Okay, Mr. Glass Cannon here. All right, well, so much for the Berserker. Okay, so sorry about that. Chineco. All right, we're gonna swap out to Roland Marowak here. Who uses Chineco? All right. All right, so now we're testing Alolan Marowak because Berserker decided it doesn't uh, it doesn't do well. Shadow Ball, here we go. Let's pop all those balloons. Okay, second shield. Yes, all right, good. We like that. We like that. We still have one shield, and we're gonna go ahead and use that here. I have no idea. I've, I don't think I've ever gone up against a Chimeco. So I don't even know what kind of damage that can do. Okay, so we should have a Shadow Ball ready here. We do. Okay. Alright. Zero shields, zero Galarian Stun Fists. Okay, and we sh Ooh, a Weavile. Okay. This should be a knockout. This should be a knock. Ooh, almost. Okay. Get him, get him. There it is. All right, well, a win is a win. Um, <laughs> I've had wins before with that Berserker. Um, but this was, you know, this it's been a while, and the meta has has definitely changed. Uh, so, eh, maybe there are better steel types, but I really like that Alolan Marowak, so uh, that's that's where we're at. All right, so let's uh, switch on over. Wow, look at all the stuff on the map there. Okay, so let's, I'm going to try this. Okay, let's go into camera mode here. Okay, and I'm going to put you on my tripod here. Yeah, we're going to get those little feet print. Hello. Yeah, we're going to get all those little feet print on there. Okay, what is going on? There it goes. Okay, I just can't operate the machinery here. Okay, oh, sorry about that. Yep, there's my ETBs. And I'm just going to knock everything Hey, man, I'm just, like, practicing as I go here, okay? This is not a top-class job here. Uh, so this is just functioning on a shoestring budget. Okay, so this is the McDonald's uh, packs here. There is the McDonald's symbol there. So in itself, it's supposed to be a like, game for, like, smaller children. Um, we don't want... Uh, um, Sloking to pop up here. So in inside of here is like rules for a game. Now, yes, it, these are regular. I can't. 
I can't like not look. I'm looking through the camera to try to open this box and it's just not registering to my fingers. All right, so inside you're gonna get your pack and with four cards, guaranteed a foil card. Okay, and these are the, well, this is like what's gonna, this is your, your index sort of sort of thing table of contents and this is going to show you how this uh this game here so it's going to come with a spinner so it's going to show you all the components of the actual playing card and that's how this game is based and then you get this spinner here okay so we have uh victini there so apparently you'll take turns spinning this and so a heart, so the heart would mean, okay, so anyway, we're not going to play the game here, so uh, this is this is not a plastic, it's cardboard, it's like a pog, so on the back you, so I guess you'll use this for flipping coins to see who's going to, who's going to go first or whatever, so eh, it's, it's nice, but it's cardboard. Okay, so this is what we really want. So that's it. That's all there is inside the box. A nice little sturdy box. Okay. So here we go. All right. So the foil is going to be on the front. Remember, these are just paper packs. These are not those uh, nice foil. All right. So I don't want it to show because the foil is going to be right there. You're guaranteed one foil card per so we're going to slide that to the back. Okay. So we have a Chin Chow here. And they are there's only eight cards in the set. Now, from what I heard, there's eight non-foils. Oh, I'm sorry. 15 non-foils and 15 foil cards. So there's only 30 uh, cards in the set. And I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't have any sort of McDonald's logo on there at all anywhere. Like the, remember the celebration of the 25th anniversary had the uh, Pikachu on there. This doesn't say it anywhere. Huh. Interesting. Nope. Regular playing card on the outside. So they, ooh. Nice. We got, a, got us a Lapras. Now, remember, I bought 12 packs of this because I want to try to get this set. So, there you go. So, we don't want any duplicates. Pangoro. Okay. And our foil is... Let's start from the bottom. Okay. It's a red. Combustion. Warm up. I don't think it's a Charizard. It is a Growlithe. Okay, so there you go. You can see that that McDonald's foil there. Pretty cool. Okay, so there it is. That is our one pack for this video. So tune in and we'll... I've got, uh, like I said, another 11 packs unless I go and buy some more. So cool. Pretty neat. I guess that's a trainer in the back. Just getting a good look at these. They feel different than regular cards, but doesn't look any different. So, yep, regular playing cards for the TCG collections. So that's going to be it, Pokemon Go fans. I'm sorry I kept y'all so long. Just interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. So let's see. Yep. So there you go. No code cards in there or anything. Made for McDonald's. But it doesn't say that on the card. So there you go, Pokemon Go fans. I will see you all in the next video. Um, until then, take care.